Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to integrate your custom GPTs into WhatsApp. I'm sure you already know what a custom GPT is. You can create one on ChatGPT site by adding your own instructions and knowledge base files to give it some extra context. The only downside is that to actually use it, you have to stick to ChatGPT site. So today, I'm going to show you how to kind of break free from that and either deploy it to your website as a chatbot widget or integrate it directly to WhatsApp. This way you'll have a custom AI agent with all the context about your business, ready to handle customer service and generate leads through WhatsApp, which by the way has 2 billion monthly active users, so a lot of potential. This is one of the most requested solutions at our AI agency. So whether you're setting it up for your own business or offering it as a service to others, stick with me and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set it up. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Chatbase. Chatbase is one of my favorite tools, that's for sure. I love their user experience, especially for non-developers. There is absolutely no code involved and you can set up a ready to use custom AI chatbot in a few minutes. All you need to do is add your knowledge base files and your custom prompt, maybe customize some settings and you're ready to go. I'm gonna show you everything step by step. I'm going to walk you through the whole process. So let's dive right in. All right, as an example, let's use this dummy beauty salon and we are going to create our AI customer service chatbot for this particular business. Once you sign up with Chatbase, you can create a new chatbot. You'll be prompted right away to the data sources. You can add your knowledge base files using different options here. You can add it as a file. They support different formats like PDF, doc, TXT. You can add it as a plain text. You can add it as a website to crawl. This is a very useful option. Uh, it can be Q&A or even your Notion document. Uh, I'm going to add it as a plain text. I have my knowledge base already prepared here. So my spa beauty salon will be called Serenity Glow Spa. Um, in my knowledge base file, I have something like opening hours, contact details, uh, payment methods, um, customer service best practices, and probably some frequently asked questions. I just generated this with ChatGPT just for the sake of this particular video. Let me copy all of this and paste it here. Then I click create chatbot. You need to allow it a few moments to process it. And after a few seconds, your chatbot is trained and ready to use. So the first tab here is playground. First of all, you can test it here and see how it replies. Let's ask um, what are your opening hours? It will understand even if you make mistakes. Our opening hours are as follows, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m., 8 p.m. Let's just check it here. Exactly the same is stated in my knowledge base, so it works well. When creating a custom GPT, you have two main components, right? You have your knowledge base files and you have your custom persona instructions or prompt. So in order to add your custom prompt, go to settings, then go to AI, and here you have instructions. This is where you can paste your custom prompt. Now, for any AI system, your prompt is very important. So make sure you structure it according to the best practices. I have a video on AI chatbots and there is a comprehensive section on prompting. I discuss how to create the best prompt, so make sure to check it out. Uh, but the structure should look like this. You have to stipulate the role of your assistant, then the task, the specifics, the context, some examples of the best practices, and the notes. So I'm going to copy all of that. Just a little tip for you, you can copy my prompt. I'm going to edit in my resources hub in my school community. So you, you join the school community, go to YouTube tab, and you can download this prompt. Then you can paste this prompt into ChatGPT and ask it to modify the prompt according to your business, according to your business context, but keeping the same structure. And then it should be good enough as a starting point for you to, to iterate. 
All right, so we have our custom prompt here. You can select a model. That's that's a great flexibility offered by Chatbase. I love using GPT-4 also, I'll stick to it, but you could use, for example, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is really great. You can use Gemini. Um, so great flexibility here. And also if you scroll down, there is a temperature, so you can adjust the temperature. Temperature basically determines um, how creative the output of your assistant is. If you want to stick to the policies of your business and make it very straightforward and predictable, then set it to zero. But if you deal with something like, I don't know, creative writing or maybe creating social media posts, then you can experiment and basically switching this temperature to higher levels. Um, I'm going to stick to zero. Um, so I've selected my AI model, I pasted my instructions, my custom prompt, and I stick to zero when it comes to the temperature, click save. Also within settings, you can go to chat interface and here you can customize the UI of your chatbot widget. You can change the initial message, which is reflected here. You can add some suggested messages, for example, what are um, your services and it will be reflected here. So. This is the same as conversation starters within your chat GPT interface. When you create custom GPTs, you can click on it and start the conversation with this question. You have a lot of settings here. You can change the theme. You can um, add a display name for your chatbot widget. Let's say bow, uh, bow spa, something like that. You can add profile picture, chat icons, all of that. You can change the colors. So a lot of flexibility when it comes to, uh, to the UI. And that's a great advantage because, you know, usually it involves a lot of development and here you have all of that pre-configured. There are also a bit more advanced features here like webhooks. For example, you can generate leads during these conversations, right? The AI can ask for uh, the user's name and email address and phone number and then send it using webhooks to your CRM, for example, and this way you can automatically create a new profile in your CRM. I'm going to cover this in my next videos. There is also an activity tab so you can check all the chat logs with your users. Very much requested feature um, by our clients at our agency. There is also analytics so you, you are not blind in terms of what's going on when your chatbot is communicating with your users, but you can check some insights. You can have the total amount of chats, total messages, uh, you know, chats by countries, so you can understand the nature of your leads better. There is also sources. So we already added our uh, knowledge base file today, but at any time, if you want to retrain your assistant, you can go back to sources and basically add another knowledge base file or amend your current knowledge base file, click retrain chatbot and this way you're going to update the context for its knowledge base. But the most important tab for us today is this one, connect. Here you can first of all embed these chatbots onto your website as a chatbot widget or as an iframe. You can share it as a separate tab uh, probably for demo purposes usually, or you can integrate it with different third-party tools. For example, you can integrate it to Instagram or Messenger, or you can connect this chatbot with many, many different apps available through Zapier, or you can connect it to WhatsApp, of course. And I'm going to show you how to do it in a moment, but before that, let's quickly embed it as a chatbot widget on our website, just to show you how it works and how easy it is to, to do. So first of all, click make public, and then you'll get two options. You can either add it as an iframe, or you can add a chat bubble to the bottom right of your website and it will look like, like this. So let's use this second option. I'll copy the script, then I'll go to the HTML of my website, of my demo website. I'll just paste it um, somewhere here. Okay, save, then let's go back to my website, refresh it, and the chat bubble appears here. You can open it, uh, you can start the conversation using this uh, conversation starter. What are your services? and I get the, the response according to my knowledge base. I have different treatments, um, body treatment, um, vaccine services, etc. cetera. So let, let's also ask it, um, what are your I don't know, opening hours? And again, it replies according to my knowledge base. So it works well. 
Now let's go to integrations and connect it to WhatsApp. First of all, you have this WhatsApp integration guide prepared by Chatbase. It is a great guide and you can just follow it and you'll be fine. Um, but let me show you how I do it step by step. Now, before we start, I want you to understand that the WhatsApp phone number integrated with the chatbot can only be used by the chatbot. It cannot be used on WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. So if you already use phone number with WhatsApp, you must delete your account first. But I assume you want to keep your account and just dedicate a separate phone number to your business needs, right? So usually you could use something like Twilio to obtain a phone number. Um, but in practice, there are a lot of um, compliance checks with Twilio and it might take a lot of time and efforts to go through them. So I want to share with you a bit more flexible service. It's called moremeans.com. Here you can just go to, you can sign up and then go to store, go to numbers, select the country you want to obtain a number from, let's say United States. Um, then you're going to pay, this is 25 Apollo Zloty, which is around five euros per month. So we just click buy as simple as that. And then when you go to my plans, you'll, you'll see your obtained, your purchase numbers here. I've already purchased a number, so I'm going to use this one for my tutorial today. Um, another tip, you're going to verify this number. So we'll have to read your SMS text message. In order to do so, just go to SMS, click open more means app. And here you'll see um, some links to download the app on your phone. So you just download it on your phone and you'll be able to read the SMS text message once, um, once you receive it. All right, let's go back to our WhatsApp, click connect. I love how smooth the whole experience is. You don't have to use Meta Business separately. You are prompted to this window where you just, you know, click uh, continue, get started, and then you're prompted to the relevant fields. So fill in your business information, select your business portfolio that should be created with Meta Business, business name, click next. Then the next step, I'm gonna leave, create a WhatsApp business account and create a new WhatsApp business profile. Click next. WhatsApp business account name, let's call it Chatbase test tutorial, something like that. This is going to be only visible to you internally. Um, what's a business display name? This is important. It should align with your business name inside Meta. So you have to verify your business and the name that you verified as a business name should be displayed here, the same name. Otherwise, it won't be approved. And then category, I love to select other um, to avoid any questions click next. The next step is to add a phone number for WhatsApp and you get two options here. Get a free number with WhatsApp. Um, okay, you'll get this free number, but it cannot be used to start or receive calls or texts. No verification required. So this is basically only for uh, the test purposes. You're going to whitelist your number and you'll be able to, to exchange text with that number, but only with your phone. You won't be able to communicate with other users. So we need to add a new or existing number to make it live in production and enable this chatbot, enable this WhatsApp user to communicate with other numbers. I hope that's clear. Um, so phone number, let's just copy it from my more means account. I go to my plans, copy this number that I purchased um, for this tutorial. Then I go back, paste it here. I stick to text message, click next. I should receive a message in my more means application. So let me open it. And I received my verification code. All right, click next. It is going to request access for Chatbase. Obviously you need to um, allow it. And then it says you're now ready to chat with people on WhatsApp. Uh, another tip for you, you need to add a payment method, otherwise it won't work. So let's go to add a payment method and you just need to add your card details here. So I select Poland and US dollars, click next. Just add your payment methods here. I'm going to do this. And once you've added your payment method, you'll see it here, how you'll pay. Um, that's it, go back to Chatbase, click on manage and here you'll see the status uh, checked as approved. This way you can start testing it.
So let me just record my screen with my phone. I'm going to um, scan this QR code just to be prompted to WhatsApp right away. Starting a chat. All right, let's ask it, um, what are your services? It takes a few seconds to process, of course. And I get the reply, hello, welcome to our spa. We offer a wide range of services, um, skincare treatments, body treatments. Again, everything is according to our knowledge base. Let's see uh, what else we can ask uh, from our knowledge base. Um, for example, let's ask for their product catalog, okay? What is your product catalog? Okay, it takes a few seconds to reply. And I get my reply, which is again, exactly the same as stipulated in my knowledge base file. Okay, it works great. It really takes you a few minutes. I, I think the most time demanding thing here is to create your prompt, is to construct your knowledge base and to go through the uh, verification with your Meta business account. Once you have all these three components, it takes like really up to 10 minutes to set everything up. And once you are running your chatbot, you can go to activity, then you can go to chat logs. And we just had a conversation with it. We asked, what are your services using WhatsApp, right? This is our reply. And then we asked, what is your product catalog? And we got our reply. So you can actually monitor the replies, the output by AI. And you can also revise the answer and advise what the expected response should be and this way you're going to kind of train it how to reply to, to the questions. All right, I think that's it. If you want to learn how to build advanced solutions and how to start selling them to businesses, feel free to sign up for our AI fellowship program. Or if you are a business and you want to implement an AI solution into your business, build a custom AI agent, this is what we do at our agency. Visit us at bosar.agency and we'll be there to help you out. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you managed to complete this integration or not, or if you get any issues on your way. Um, ask questions if you have any. I'll try my best to answer them. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next one.